Hi everybody, Kurt Quiddell back at Lake of the Woods. Uh, just heading out to the fish house this morning. I'm going to show you where I am here. See what you're going to say is, ooh, this is busy. It's a whole village out here. Well, there's a lot of houses here. And these are all locals. Uh, my neighbors here on Long Point. But there is nobody, there's nobody fishing these houses. They're here a uh, couple days a week, maybe. And on the weekends, but uh, here we are midweek. And it's, uh, it's a dead city. There might be one or two. I see a track machine out here, a uh, ranger. But uh, other than that, there's only going to be a couple of people fishing out here. By Wednesday, things quiet down. I was out yesterday, caught a bunch of fish in the morning. All, every one of them, was small. But heck, I had a busy morning. I caught like 17 fish by myself. And I quit at 11.30. So I'm just pulling up to the house now. I'm going to get set up. And see how my uh, big words about fishing midweek for the best fishing up here will pan out today. All right, give me a few minutes to get set up. I'll be back. North Country Outdoors Radio. Ah, nice warm fire is uh, just what a guy needs here. Now, I didn't leave uh, the heat on last night. I shut it off, and my holes were pretty much still open from yesterday. Kick them open with the scoop. So I've got the uh, Mega Live is ready to go. Uh, both holes are ready to fish. All I've got to do is get lines down. It's 10 after 8. Uh, you're already noticing very well that the days are getting longer. It's pretty darn light at 8 o'clock in the morning, and heck, two weeks ago it was pitch dark. That's good. Get lines in the water. I think I see fish down there now. All right, yesterday I was out here. As I mentioned, I caught all little fish, but. Uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, if your line's in the water, something great can happen here on Lake of the Woods. Uh, here's a guy that uh, fished with Twin Island Sleepers, and they're my neighbors. They're right out here fishing pretty much the same area I am. He caught a 33-incher this week. Uh, Long Point Resort had had pictures of uh, at least a couple of them, 27s, 28s, 29 and a halfs. Seems like there's been a lot of those uh, lately. Now, there's a lot of people fishing. Someone's going to get them. But uh, today, when we're shooting this video... Let's hope it's me. All right, uh, the undersea is alive with action here this morning. I mean, schools of bait fish come by, and I've got fish over on this side. All right, uh, popping up a lot. All I need is move a little bit closer over here. Here's my uh, line on my left side. There's that, uh, this is that little tiny jig, that tungsten jig. And this is that rattle bait. I've got that big pink rattle bait on again. Had the lines in the water for just a few minutes. Nothing yet. Still warming up water in here for the holes. Uh, well, I tell you, it's very nice out here. 28 degrees this morning. It never really cooled down overnight. And for the last two weeks, at least, temperatures have been the same. Anywhere from the teens to the mid-20s for daytime highs. Even up around 30 once in a while. Uh, there has been no new ice made in at least two weeks, probably three. I'm still sitting here on 17, 18 inches of ice. Uh, the, the snow for getting around uh, has been a little bit better. It, it's all pretty hard now. There was a little white pickup truck out here by me the last couple of days, and I saw he left some pretty deep tracks as he is getting through the snow, but uh, he made it. He was out here fishing by me. I have no idea how he got out here or out. But if you want to get around, I'd say, uh, no, <laughs> but I'm not that much of an adventurer anymore. Bring a shovel, a couple of kids with strong backs maybe, and, and uh, you could go for it. But uh, Long Point's got a great road. There are great lake roads all over here, the, all over the place up here that you can drive your trucks out onto. And they plow offshoots so you can get off and set up your portables, uh, pull your wheelhouses out for the most part, almost everywhere now. So uh, Lake of the Woods... Uh, ice fishing. I'm saying it's a week late now is really really getting going. I saw online that the Wigwam uh, Lake Road is 15 miles long now and if I look straight out from shore here which is almost straight east I can see them coming off the shore heading up. They're gonna wind up uh, south of Garden Island by a few miles but they're gonna be they're gonna be 24 miles out in the lake before they get done plowing here in a, in a month or so. Uh, Lake of the Woods is, is going right now. I just got to see if the fish are going today for me. Cool thing about the... Ooh, look at this. 
There's a big sturgeon or a big pike coming through. Wow. You can see that one. See that again in slow motion. Holy smokes. The good thing about Mega Live is you can see everything. And the odd thing about uh, Mega Live is you can see everything. <laughs> And <laughs> not everything bites. Oh, that was cool. Hey, this guy's gonna mean some business here. There's the fish coming, all right. Uh, I don't look like a giant right now, but there he is. <laughs> there he is. And this is a. Uh, 12 inch sauger. Hooked right through the top of the mouth. Off he goes. His bait is, well, I'll put on a fresh bait. Now here comes another one. Right underneath my jigs. Uh, as soon as I turned the camera, that even scared the boy. He turned the camera on that time. When you fish around, there he is now. Heading away. <laughs> so fine. Fine then. I got him on this one. See, I've got a couple of them down there interested suddenly. 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not much, but uh, these fish have been... I'll show you this bait that I've got on. Okay. Right? little sauger back down the hole. It's another perch talker. But I've got... Uh, took that treble hook off the bottom and just put a plain yellow hook. So the perch talker is my uh, sinker. That minnow's still pretty lively. I'll send it back down. See if we can get this other guy going here. I had uh, two fish coming up, one on each bait. This one on my right just happened to be there first. Here he comes again. Come on, buddy. Got his nose turned up towards the bait. Well, I tell you, they've been tentative. And if they stay this way all day, there's not much you can do. You can move, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but uh, second, hang in there. At any minute, they could start uh, biting. So that's my plan. I've got a buddy that's uh, maybe an eighth of a mile away from me, and he's kept, heck, three or four this morning. He's got a nice 16-inch walleye. And he's in the same depth. He's in 29 feet just like me. But he's in an area that's been quiet for probably... a uh, a week or more and this area has been quiet this is a Wednesday it's been quiet Sunday it, everyone left it no one's been back here yet so the fish are starting to bite a little bit more we'll give them a little bit longer fingers crossed I'm halfway up fish right there swims off to the side comes back looks again doesn't bite swims off to the side oh now he's gone no nope. still coming back coming back I got him. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is better. Big, big freaking tulipy. That's why he was following me up so much. Look at the size of this guy. Yeah, hold still, bud. There's no handle on the tulipy. There you go. This is big. Wow. And he's hooked right through the roof of his mouth. That was fun. Big white fish, huh? There he goes. There you go. This is a better fish. Yep. I just, well, I had a nice one a minute ago. This one came up like you meant it. Oh, yeah, this one keeps. A good walleye. <coughs> 16 incher. And he's got my other line, too. There we go. I knew they had to come in here sooner or later. Look at this baby. <laughs> and this one is 16 inches long. Lately I've had a couple of uh, nice ones. It's a beautiful fish. Look at their fins are all up. 
They're in great shape. Almost uh, 1 o'clock. I'm going to quit at 1. Got another fish down there. Uh, this has been not too far out of the ordinary of a day. I uh, got a, a couple of good ones to keep. Had a nice one. Had a chance at a nice one. Got that big tulipy. And I got a bunch of little guys to throw back. So I was pretty busy all morning. Some days you come out here and do great. But every day you're not going to come out. I don't care where you go. You're not going to come out and fill the bucket with 18 inch walleyes and 17 inch saugers. You're just not going to do that. And I'm lucky enough I could fish almost every day. I get a few days like this. But I hope the information I gave you along the way. Uh, some of the adjustments I made that didn't do a lot of good for me today. But uh, the trick is you keep trying. So I'm going to be back out here tomorrow. It's going to be a little cooler tomorrow. Still overcast. I'd like to see some sun out. Yesterday we caught uh, quite a bit of fish, but it was it was sunny, but we didn't catch any to keep. I've got a couple of keepers in the bucket now. I'm loving it. This weather is just outstanding. This is two weeks going on three weeks of uh, really, really nice weather. So that's what I've got for you this time. Uh, subscribe to the Kurt Quinnell YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. That's way, that way, every time I get a new video on, you'll be notified about it, about it right away. All right? So, from Lake of the Woods, hey, I'm Kurt Quinnell. We'll see you out here soon somewhere on the ice.